What's up, it's Mitch from Suicide Silence. You're watching PitCam TV. Fuck you, I hate you. I'm in Suicide Silence. Yeah. Yeah, Mitch, what, what does, the mean, does the word tattoo mean to you? So, if you think about the word tattoo. Tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> to just, to yeah. mark your skin? For life. Okay. Um, so, what was your first tattoo and how old were you? I was 16 years old and I got, or 17, and I got my whole shin done. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, who was the first person where you thought, hell yeah, I wanted to tattoo too? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did piercings. Oh, okay. And so I apprenticed for piercings for like years and years and years and did dermal punching, like big holes and noses and like scalpeling, like big uh, cuts. Yeah. And ears. And uh, it kind of, it's, fits in the same realm as being a tattoo artist because you're doing something that no one else can do. It's like, oh, I can get a scalpel and I can cut a chunk of your skin out <laughs> and make it you go from this to that or from your nostril from like a little hole yeah. like that to a big <laughs> hole. And then uh, it was kind of in the same realm. And then I started working in a tattoo shop doing what I did. And I met uh, one of my best friends currently, John Montgomery, who okay. has tattooed my whole body. Nice. Yeah, and uh, I met him, and he took me under his wing, and was just like, "This worked for me. You can tour. You can do this. You can do that." And uh, it was it started a beautiful friendship. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Always good if you have a good connection to your tattoo artist. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like he's done my whole body except for my fingers, okay. except for those diamonds. Everything else on my body, like everything head to toe, he's oh, done. The whole, all the way up to here. And there, and like both arms. He's done it all, and then my legs from like here down. And what are your top this, three tattoos? This big, my uh. penis is this big, and that wide. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm working with. <laughs> For all those women up there that are like, oh, I want to fuck Mitch Looker. Yeah, my penis looks like a fucking. Hold on. <laughs> you want to fuck me now? <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, so what are your personal top three tattoos of your body? Um, the one from my daughter, the big okay. flower on my hand. It says Kennedy. Okay. From my daughter, and then the whole sleeve is a a Japanese oni demon protects oh, yeah. wow. protects children from pedophiles, and um, so that's the oni demon, and he has on both of his hands he's hanging two pedophiles. Protecting him from my flower, my daughter. Yeah, nice. That means the most to me by far. Okay, they were your top three. And who are your top three artists? Tattoo artists? John Montgomery, John Montgomery, John Montgomery. Yeah, <laughs> it's a part. Yeah, it's he's the ink. shit. Do you know, he makes, like, the fact that he makes his own ink and the ink that he makes makes tattoos look that good. What more can you ask for? <laughs> like, he's an amazing, amazing, amazing man. Yeah, it looks great. And I can't coloring. wait for it to be done. It's going to be done soon. <laughs> yeah. So, and what was your family first thought about you covering all your skin? Fuck my family. Oh, okay. <laughs> my dad's a, a badass. My mom sucks. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> okay. There it is. And... Have you got a tattoo that you regret? I don't think so, but <laughs> a tattoo. You regret know. getting this tattooed on me in China because <laughs> it looks so bad and it got so infected and it was like pussing. Like, oh. Like uh -oh. just nasty. Yeah, could you show it to the camera? <laughs> Fuck China. That's great for shows, shitty for tattoos. Yeah, so, uh, and what was your attitude towards mainstream tattoos or people that just see a tattoo and think, that, oh, I will get that too, you know, that copy the tattoos well, from I've other seen, ones. I've seen so many kids, like, walk to me, like, oh, I got the same tattoos as you on your arm. I'm like, wow, that sucks. Yeah. It's not original. And the, the your, your artist sucks. But he does it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the guy that did that to you was miserable at tattooing, and now you have an arm that looks like shit for the rest of your life. Miserable. You don't have a comp like a connection to it because you don't. Oh, yeah. when I see people that imitate my tattoos, like my um, the owl I have here, yeah, big owl, people get it on the chest, people get it on the throat, and I'm just like, 
Wow, that looks like fucking shit. It looks like shit. It looks terrible. The lawns are blown out. It's just shaded miserably. And I, I feel bad for them. I'm like, why did you do that to your body? Like, yeah. that looks terrible. You, your, your tattoo artist is a fucking faggot and he sucks. Or this, and it's just the worst. Like, it makes me so sad to see people to get tattoos of my body on them and have it look like shit. And everybody that's ever got something like that tattooed on them has looked terrible. Ter like, the, define the word, the word terrible. So fucking miserable. You look at it and you're just like, miser I'm bummed out. I'm just like, oh, immediately just like sad. Like, oh, God, you're tattooed on your body. <laughs> God, you fucked up really bad because that's going to be there for the rest of your life. Yeah. It's sad. It's sad. It's like, dude, you have the worst 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 representation of what some good artist did to me and now that shitty artist did it to you for what like a hundred dollars in a basement yeah terrible it's just disgusting to me disgusting I think the most the most uh, worst fact about it is that it's your idea and they just copy it and they don't have the story behind it. they just like oh, well, yeah, oh, I, I, I did it because the Mitch Locker did it I did it because me Mitch Locker <laughs> Mitch Locker it's just like, oh, God, get out of here. Like, tattoo yourself because you have something that means something to you. Like, yeah. my, this is my my daughter's yeah, flower. Yeah. My daughter means something to me. This is my wife's name. It means something to me. It's like, you have if you're getting a tattoo and it doesn't mean anything to you, don't get that tattoo. Because yeah. in, like, four or five years, it will, it will be fucking worthless. Yeah. And you'll have used that much of your skin to represent worthlessness. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. We need we need a shout out. So you can do it in German so if you uh, do. Deutschland uh, is cook. Germany. But how do you say the the <laughs> sentence before it? Say it. Wait, wait, what? What 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 do you say? What do you want to say? What do you want? Fuck yes, Germany, you are the shit. I love it here. Um, fick dich, Deutschland. Du bist der größte Scheiß. Ich liebe dich. We shouldn't do that. If I just say like in English, like fuck yeah, Deutschland. Deutschland is the shit. Oh, yeah, so you do. So Ready? Yeah, Fuck. Do it again. Let's go. Fuck yeah, Deutschland. I love it here. Germany is the shit. <laughs> okay, thank Good? you. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you so much. It's gotta be right there. One, two, 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 one, two,